Karen Fluharty, Jack Garber, uh, Mark Lewinsky, uh, Cheng Ding, Jeff Wilson, Dana Albayu, uh, Sabina Kuhn, and Dave Rausch. I want to uh, start by explaining what this group did. Each year we find the published literature and external substance collections millions of new chemical compounds. Mostly, uh, when we find them, they actually are really just described by a chemical picture or a structure. But they all, uh, every new chemical substance, needs to have a chemical name. They can't be in our CAS registry database of chemical substances with just a picture. Our customers also want to know what to call them, what name they should have. So software based on editorial naming rules helps make the process of naming these volumes of new chemical compounds efficient and uh, highly, highly accurate. But uh, in order to do it quickly, uh, we needed to have new software developed. This new software development effort was led by our CIS IT partner to enable automation in naming of chemical substances by EO. It was a multi-year effort that culminated in December of 2006 with the installation of the new software seamlessly. And um, it is called, uh, the new software for chemical compound naming is called HNG for hyper, hyper because it's fast and better, uh, name generation software, or we call it HNG. As part of this development, three key improvements were realized. Chemical nomenclature was simplified to make it more understandable by customers, thus enabling customers to more readily find in our databases substances of interest. Computer-friendly policies were created, enabling the, enabling the algorithmic generation of names for a very high percentage of substances. And antiquated software, which was called ANGS, which ran on 10 servers, uh, was replaced and improved and made more highly extensible and flexible, and it now runs on one server. As the editorial operations staff become more proficient with this software, they will be able to reduce staff time spent on name generation for many categories of substances, allowing them to generate many names with the help of this software. Throughout the project, there was great synergy between the IT and EO project members evident discussions of different ways to bring the greatest benefit to editorial. The team created a system that models chemical knowledge, really quite unique, and uh, about a substance, it, it actually uses that uh, to generate the substance name. This is a very novel approach. I think this is a great example of staff from different divisions and units, different backgrounds, different perspectives, working together to create a solution that none of them would have created on their own. So it's our pleasure to congratulate uh, the members and uh, provide them a Meridian Award. Ladies and gentlemen, we are delighted to present a Meridian Award to uh, Karen Fluharty, Jack Carver. I guess we will one time. Karen Fluharty. Sabina 
Becky Kung. And Dave Rausch.